Fast forward 25 years, and it's evident that cycling has undergone a remarkable evolution. Cycling has emerged as a sustainable, efficient, and comparably cost-effective solution for urban mobility, aligning with the ambitious climate goals outlined in the Paris Agreement, the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, and the Climate Neutral and Smart Cities mission of the European Commission. Beyond its ecological and health benefits, cycling enriches urban existence. It elevates city life by creating more space for social interactions and fostering an environment conducive to business expansion. Hence, cycling undeniably stands as a pivotal element in the array of strategies available to cities striving for climate neutrality, sustainability, and innovation. What sets it apart from other climate-oriented measures is an added advantage, the cultivation of human-centered ecosystems. These environments epitomize tranquility, safety, lush landscapes, and captivating surroundings, nurturing sanctuaries where individuals of all ages can reside, work, play, and savor the joys of life. Cycling's impact on the urban economy is already substantial and set to grow. To underscore this significance, we introduce the concept of bikenomics. Bikenomics represents the economic advantages associated with cycling as a mode of urban transportation. It sheds light on the positive influence cycling can exert on a city's economy both directly and indirectly. Bikenomics encompasses several key facets. Healthcare savings, reduced infrastructure costs, boosting local businesses, decrease congestion and pollution, tourism and recreational opportunities, employment generation, enhanced accessibility within the urban environment. For cities to leverage bikenomics effectively in their mobility planning, they can invest in cycling infrastructure, promote active transportation, prioritize complete streets, collaborate with local businesses, gather data and monitor impacts. By incorporating the tenets of bikenomics into urban planning, cities can cultivate more sustainable, dynamic, and economically thriving settings. Simultaneously, they encourage healthier lifestyles and mitigate the negative repercussions of car-centric transportation systems. However, Municipalities grapple with a deficit in institutional memory and capacity, facing challenges such as lack of current, vital cycling information, absence of city-specific up-to-date cycling data, need for an innovative cycling self-assessment tool, limited opportunities for networking within and between cities, an arena for members to mutually share, inspire, motivate, and empower each other through engaging and interactive learning. Expert assistance in navigating policy directions, academic research, technical support, solutions, infrastructure, technology, and services. They encounter the following daunting obstacles, tedious and expensive tendering procedures, fragmented approaches that tackle individual issues separately, consultants, often emphasizing their brand or label's value rather than the content's actual worth. Numerous, small, occasionally awkward questions. The ICCOP, International Cycling Community of Practice, aspires to address all these concerns. It builds upon the insights gained from Handshake, a research and innovation initiative funded by the European Commission. Handshake guided the endeavours of 13 European cities, including two cycling pioneers like Amsterdam and Copenhagen, in their pursuit to advance, expedite and disseminate cycling policy knowledge. Handshake employed a spectrum of tools encompassing knowledge exchange, mentorship, immersive study tours, transition management, goal setting and results assessment. The partners within Civitas Handshake now present an inspiring outcome of their work. The International Cycling Community of Practice, ICCOP. The ICCOP stands as a comprehensive and intricate digital platform 
offering cities worldwide a unified space to collaborate and tackle the challenges presented by climate change, urbanization, and car-centric development. Anchored in a series of research and innovation endeavors, this platform furnishes cities with an organized, guided, and flexible platform for 1. Facilitating dialogues, igniting peer-to-peer -peer collaboration, bolstering capabilities, and encouraging collaborative innovation. 2. Connecting with a supportive network, comprised of researchers, consultants, associations, and industries, eager to contribute actionable knowledge, services, and products that align with cities' aspirations. Cities can harness the advantages offered by cycling by embracing change, uniting communities to accelerate progress, and exchanging actionable knowledge that spans the globe. The International Cycling Community of Practice, ICCOP, serves as the conduit for precisely such a transformative process, facilitating organized collaboration within our intricate, interconnected world. In this address, I will delve deeper into the ICCOP. In essence, the ICCOP embodies a collaborative endeavor that confronts dynamic challenges, armed with a shared reservoir of knowledge, eradicating the barriers of isolation. Policymakers, practitioners, researchers, industries, consultants, businesses, NGOs, and civil society converge, pooling their expertise to assist city governments in swiftly and effectively formulating and executing their cycling initiatives. These are the unequivocal aspirations of the ICCOP. The ICCOP operates as a sophisticated and comprehensive digital platform empowering cities globally to collaborate and devise solutions for the intricate challenges posed by climate change, urbanization, and car-centric development. Harnessing a series of research and innovation RI projects, this platform provides cities with a meticulously structured, guided, and adaptable framework serving two primary objectives. One, fostering dialogue and peer collaboration. The ICCOP nurtures productive dialogues, sparking peer-to-peer -peer cooperation, nurturing capacity-building endeavors, and propelling collaborative innovation. 2. Access to a supportive network. It provides cities with access to a robust network, comprising researchers, consultants, associations, and industries, eager to contribute actionable knowledge, services, and products that align with cities' ambitions. In essence, the ICCOP is dedicated to elevating the overall quality of life for citizens, while concurrently addressing the urgent concerns of climate change mitigation. ICCOP serves as an online hub, inspiring cities and facilitating connections. Cities can partake in activities, spark innovative ideas, and seek collaborative support. The key to success lies in collaboration, which cultivates a diverse array of solutions for local challenges. Handshake's experience underscores the transformative potential of engaging across borders, boosting competence and confidence. In a world marked by climate urgency, ICCOP offers cities up-to-date cycling resources, gain access to essential materials for informed decision-making, city-specific insights, Learn from handshake cities and networks, like the Dutch Cycling Embassy and European Cycling Federation. Innovative assessment tool, evaluate capabilities, pinpoint gaps, and enhance efforts. Networking opportunities, forge connections between cities, erasing isolation barriers. Interactive learning platform, exchange ideas, empowering each other through dynamic sessions expert support, access policy guidance, research, technical assistance, solutions, and more. The private space we provide to cities must remain truly private, requiring us to have knowledge of who intends to enter. To fulfill this requirement, we've designed a self-assessment tool that allows cities to assess and reflect on their cycling performance. Each city will conduct a comprehensive self-evaluation spanning three core domains, hardware, software, and orgware. 
Within these domains, we've organized the 20 chapters that encapsulate the facets of cycling policy. Moreover, this process allows individual civil servants to articulate their mentorship expertise and areas where they seek guidance. Sample questions include how effectively do various segments of the cycling network interconnect and function holistically? Or what communication and marketing initiatives are in place for cycling? And what is the extent of local investment in cycling? Each response provided will collectively contribute to a thorough assessment, ultimately determining the assignment of one of the five levels of performance, brass, bronze, silver, gold, or platinum. This performance level isn't intended for competitive purposes among cities, but rather to outline the ambition each city aims to achieve and further develop. The portal's database will also offer a wealth of practical knowledge. This database will be centered around the 20 chapters that delineate the framework for ICCOP's cycling planning. Collaboration among civil servants involved in cycling planning, industry stakeholders, universities, and consultancy firms will result in a more well-informed urban mobility policy. Backing the ICCOP aligns with the private sector's CSR objectives, fostering sustainable transportation and carbon emission reduction. This showcases dedication to sustainability and enhances brand perception. Numerous compelling reasons support the private sector's sponsorship of the international cycling community of practice, corporate social responsibility, business opportunities, reputation management, market insights, advocacy overall, supporting the international cycling community of practice yields substantial advantages for the private sector. In conclusion, let me emphasize that ICCOP will never be a profit-oriented initiative, quite the opposite. It will prove immensely valuable for society and various stakeholders in the realm of cycling planning. However, the exchange of information within the collaborative framework of the international cycling community of practice will not be possible without your support. I thank you very much for your attention, and I am looking forward to communicating with you.